Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. How are you all doing? Right now it's morning time for me, so I have my cup of coffee. This time it's in my old Pac-Man mug that doesn't work anymore. And it's mostly just black. I put some oat milk, oat milk in there. But yeah, this was a Christmas gift, but it doesn't change colors anymore. I don't know what happened. I'm thinking somebody left it in the sink just sitting in water. So yeah, I have my, my um, coffee. It's so good. It's espresso. And I just percolate it in my old Corningware percolator. And it's really good. So I'll put that aside. What do y'all drink in the morning? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so today, in today's video, I have two Craftably um, kits from Craftably. And... These ones came in the tube. They no longer do, um, they, they no longer send out the tubes um, unless you buy them separately, but I guess they still have some from stock that they've had. So these ones came in the tube, which I really like. So I have bought a few separately and I think they are $14.99 on their website. So these two are going to be discontinued and one of them was only there are only two left, and I believe it's no longer available. It's, there's a lighthouse one. So I believe it's this one. Let's look at this one first. <clears throat> so this one is the one that is no longer available, unless they find one somewhere and put that up. But as uh, yesterday, I looked, and it was no longer available. So this is... Um, is it supposed to be Captain's Cove, I think, by Dennis Lu Luan? I'm not sure, but it's legally licensed, and I like that it has the tag over there. I hope the light, you know what, I should actually turn on the light. It's morning, and all I have is the windows open right now. So let me see if I get this light on. Let's see, that probably helps. I didn't realize it was kind of dark. So here's the canvas. Oh, it looks like that's stuffed. off. Is that everything? Yep, looks like that's everything. So let's put the rubber band aside. <clears throat> so here's their like kind of like little thank you note, I guess, or a little bit about welcome to the Craftably family, accessory, ideas, how to diamond paint, and features. Soft backed canvas poured glue. And so it's a poured glue canvas. And I believe their stickers have changed so it's I think it's like two sheets and you get now you have um, more on, on the other side I think this is bigger if I'm not mistaken so here's the canvas Captain's Cove 32 by 24 inch round has the start and finish date isn't that so beautiful with the house right there and the lighthouse and then there's two I don't know if they're kids or grown-ups right there and the water splashing and the ships in the back so beautiful i have a sister who likes lighthouses so it reminds me of her and it's 65 colors with it looks like there are four one two three four abs and some i think that means like a special like rhinestone or some kind of different stone Excuse me, and then here are all the symbols. It has the DMC code. I am currently working on a smaller one right now from Craftably. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I have another one kitted up that I want to start. It's called Hide and Seek. <clears throat> Excuse me, sounds like I had a frog in my throat for a little bit. So let's go ahead and open up the canvas. Okay, let's see. That's not the side, it's over here. I think I might get my little scissors here. This 
is when I need my glasses. I keep taking my glasses on and off. So do any of you have those over 40 eyes where I guess it's about time for bifocals, really. <laughs> I think that's what it is. So I'm always taking my glasses off and on. My husband's like that too. Oh, there's a little piece of tape there. Okay, let me put my glasses on. I don't want to accidentally cut the canvas. I'm just going to cut, cut the little piece of tape and then I'll just take it off later when I'm putting everything away. So let's get it right there. Okay, so let's see, it goes this way. And let me move some of the stuff over a little bit more. So here we go. So the canvas is like soft. It doesn't, it's not like the, kind of like the plasticky ones that you see in some. It's really soft. And so let me just go ahead and take the drills out. And let's see if I just lay it down for a little bit this way. Here's that tape. I'll take it off later. I don't have any nails. <laughs> I cut my nails short. When I was younger, like teenage years and early 20s, I used to have longer nails. They still grow pretty fast and they're still pretty strong, but I just prefer them shorter now. Okay, let's see if that's helped since I, I always have trouble like doing the whole rolling it up backwards. I don't know how y'all do it so easily. It doesn't like want to roll for me, but I'll just kind of get it a little bit like this. Maybe it's just because I'm kind of positioned awkward with this. With my tripod. Okay, we got it. I just go like this. So isn't that beautiful? There's the two people. I don't know how the how they're going to come out. They look very pixelated there. But here are the ships right here. I think it's going to be beautiful when it's done. So here are the drills. I probably won't work on this one this year. I have a few other craftably ones that I want to work on, like the hide and seek that I just kitted up. And then I also want to work on, what was the other one? I got like the 4th of July and there's another one, it's like autumn something. So I wanna work at least on one of those. And the autumn one is pretty large, so I don't see myself finishing it, but at least I could get it started. So that's why I probably won't start this one this year. So aren't those, beautiful colors so this is a round and I love all the colors like that one like kind of like a lavender color some greens in there browns blues some pinks oh and here's that special rhinestone it looks like it's a blue pretty blue and I need to kit up on camera sometime I just don't have a setup to do that. I don't have any table to sit at. I mean, I do in the, but not to like to sit and get all the recording things out. Not that I have a lot, just a tripod in my camera. So the ABs <clears throat> are 64 or R and this little symbol and then a little arrow. I wonder if we could find any of them on here. So it does look like it has some confetti over here. I haven't really done a whole lot of confetti yet. I've only completed, I got to do my completed video and show you guys all three of my canvases. Um, yeah, so I, I've completed the Princess Mermaid was my first Diamond Art Club com finish complete one. And then I did like a Diamond Dots and a budget one that was sent to me. So, this one looks like it has some confetti right over here. 
Let's look at the ocean. Let's see how many, what the ocean is like. Look at all those beautiful colors. Isn't that amazing how they could put these little diamonds on there and it creates such a beautiful canvas at the end. So that is that one. And the other one I got, this one, I think at the time there's still like 12 or 13 left. And this is down on the farm. And I got this one because it reminds me of a book series I had just, just finished completing. It's called um, Mysteries in Lancaster County. And it was a series that I got. And so one book would come every month. Oh, and it's nice. Let's see. Does this have... So, I think... So this one doesn't have the picture on it like a lot of the newer ones. So I don't want to get these mixed up, but I'm pretty sure maybe there's something here that matches on here. So I better not get these mixed up. Let's put all this together. And remember that I put captains, um, the captain, the lighthouse one on that side. <laughs> I don't want to get them mixed up. But there's this book series and it's, and it's about three, older sisters they're like more my age I think they're in their 40s and early 50s and they live in in Lancaster and they have a house they all live in their parents house now their parents have passed away and all the siblings the three the three sisters have come together His one she lost her husband about it like a year ago another one was divorced and then one never married because she took care of her parents so they all come back to the old homestead and they have some chickens and dogs and goats. And they also have a, although in the story it sounds like this is a little bit for the barn is a little bit further from the house. And the barn is not used as a barn. Their parents had opened a kind of like a, not a thrift store, but a, you know, where you, um, what was, oh, it's called Second Blessings. So some people like people would bring um their things and sell it there and they get their percentage or so it kind of was like i guess a thrift store but also uh what are those ones where people bring things and well i don't know but it was like it was a store and so they started up the store again because it had closed down for a little while and it was called mysteries in lancaster county because there was there would be different mysteries like one customer brought in an old camera she wanted to sell and there were some pictures in that she didn't know who they were and then one ended up being like a mystery and they're trying to figure out who that person was and they're just all kinds of mysteries and so I finished the series it was really sad because you know you get to know the characters and and it's sad to see them go because you're not going to read any more about them so I would show you a book but I think I I, I packed them all because I want to reread them later. So I think there were like 25 books in the series. So it lasted, it was, I got one a month for two years. And uh, yeah, so it was a, just a fun little series. And it was a Christian series. So there were sometimes there were like Bible verses and it was just a really nice series that I enjoyed reading. Something where it was all clean in there because, you know, sometimes I, I read books and I'm like, okay, let me skip over this section. So this one has a little sticker and then it has these. I like these big stickers because of my over 40 eyes. <laughs> and, uh, but sometimes they are kind of a little bit big on the containers. So I, yeah, they are a little bit. Um, big on the containers. I wish I would have brought one up so I could show you. So let's see. This one has this. I believe this is no longer like in the packages. It's all all been redone. So this one has fifty seven colors and one AB. And here are some of the symbols. Let's see. I don't, I don't really see any that are too confusing. I'm trying to think of the one that I'm working on. 
so far I think it's been I gotta write notes so when I actually do the post review I could let you all know okay so let's see which side this one opens here it is let's see if I'm gonna be able to I think I'll just go ahead and cut this too so that way it's just easier and I could put my painting back in this plastic bag which I like to protect it Again, this one's soft, and there's that little bit of tape. Let's see. Let's get the scissors. I'm always afraid I'm going to cut this by accident. Let me actually get my glasses back on. Okay, so let's see. I guess I could, if I could grab it with my nails, although it goes all the way around. Let me just go ahead and do this. I gotta call my dad afterwards. Looks like he was trying to call, but I don't know how to do all the editing, so I try not to interrupt my, my video. Oh, I'm having trouble. Let me do this off camera so I can see it up close. I don't want to accidentally cut the canvas. That would be horrible. So they are scalloped edges, which is great so it doesn't fray. There we go. This one belongs to this one, okay. What? I wonder where I put my little sticker for that one. I guess I'll find it after I do. After I start putting everything away. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one is upside down. Let's go ahead and do it this way. So this one is smaller. Oh yes, I did I let you all know the size of this canvas. So this is down on the farm. I think they were the Classen sisters, although two of them had been married, so they had different last names in this in the story, the series that I was reading. So see how I just don't roll it off nice like you all do but that's okay as long as I get it this way we'll see if that helps because this one still has it unrolled all the way there we go so I'm thinking right here since you can't really it looks like you kind of lose the name up there I'm thinking I might just not put it and just I'm hoping anyway let me see what the I'm just continuing these colors down and just getting rid of the letters right there what do you all think let me know in the comments I probably do that with farms too just make it all red I'm sure I'll have enough of the drills to do that this one has some color blocking and then over here is some confetti oh look at there is that two people right there I didn't even notice them in the picture oh yeah there are oh I was thinking of the lighthouse so yeah there's just two three people in this one So this one will be fun to work on as I remember the story remember I remember the series so yeah there are a few other ones that kind of remind me of it too but this one did and I thought you know what this one's going to be discontinued it's beautiful it reminds me of the story I was reading or the series of the three sisters and their friends so yes it was called mysteries at, in Lancaster County so there was a cute little series. But anyway, oh, let's look at the drills. Is this the correct drills? Oh, yes, yeah, thank you. <clears throat> I should love my unpolished, unprofessional uh, videos. So this one, look at there. There's like a mint green in this one. Like there's like a 
light mint and a darker mint, some pretty blues, and all these gorgeous greens right here. And then they're all in the baggies. I believe that they might not be doing baggies anymore once you get to their newer kits. That they're doing the bags like, um, like the Diamond Art Club does them. So I do like that these ones are in order, I believe. At least the, the ones I have looked at, the bags are in order. And that makes it nice for kitting up. Because I, I do kit them up. Isn't that gorgeous? So that is my two Craftably kits that I purchased this month. So this month I totally failed. I bought... I bought uh, three, five from Diamond Art Club and then two from Craftably. I bought these ones because this one, the lighthouse, were only, there were only two left. So I did, I really wanted that one. It's been on my radar for a while. It's so beautiful. So that's why I did. I know, no excuses, but that's, that's my excuse. I was going to wait until February to get these, but I, I didn't want to miss out on this one so pretty from craftably and then like I, i've mentioned it before i had a coupon that was going to expire from diamond art club is 20 percent off and it's going to expire on the fourth so on january 1st i put in an order i should have did it december <laughs> the last day of december but i didn't so now it counts as january so i ordered january 1st because i didn't want to lose out on the 20 percent and then i had another coupon from diamond art club for 20% off and that one expired on the 14th. So I would think a week later I put in another order and I got three more canvases. So that's how I ended up with five from Diamond Art Club. And then this one, because these two are, are just being discontinued and I believe the Lighthouse one is no longer available. So that is why I failed so badly this month. Next month, I do want to order from Jaded Gem Shop, and I know that her orders take a while to get here, so I might do a smaller order with um, Crystal Canvas. It's another small shop that I would like to support and try out, and there are two that I might get there or one. I'm not sure. I don't think you get free shipping, so it doesn't matter really um, how much I get there, so I'll probably do the Jaded Gem Shop and then buy probably buy two from the canvas crystal canvas i think it's crystal canvas.us or something like that so i would like to get a few there when i do my diamond paintings i like to try to at least do two i mean i'm new and i haven't even i've only, I've only completed a few but in the long run in the big picture of um, hopefully being around the community for a while i'd like to at least do two paintings to give like a full full review of the company and how their diamond paintings are so that's my plan and goal anyway i know that'll take a while but it's something that i'm working towards so like when i do my mary's diamonds although these are the older kits so it doesn't really matter i guess um since the company's been bought by bella art de nicole um i would have i bought two so that way i could get an idea because sometimes the first one might not have all the same experience as a second so i don't know i just thought doing two kits per company is a good um to kind of get an idea of their quality of their canvas and the company and so forth so, so yeah so that's what my, that's some of my plans for my channel so i guess that's it for now my coffee's getting cold so i will go ahead and let you go thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you all stopping by i know you're all busy and um so yeah, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you're working on. I always, I'm always interested to know what others are working on in their diamond painting or coloring even or cross stitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. So remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And y'all have a great day. Bye.